already understand what are the next level skills that you and your organization will need? Short answer to that would be just ignore trying to cover, trying the, to most. cover the most. How many Dublins do you need to like reliably cover all of Twitter? You can yeah. never test everything. So the question of the day. Yeah, the question of the day is, how should I test to be able to cover the most? How should I test to be able to cover the most? Yeah. Exciting question, exciting it question. It is, it is. So hello everybody and welcome to the Test Guru TV, where every week we answer hardcore questions about software testing and quality assurance. Because we are doing mental health work for the software industry, everybody is so much more happy when software works. Sitting next to me, his name is Jani Tuna Haikala. He's the ultimate champion of testing. Hello, and here next to me is Antti Nittuvida, a tireless testing advocate, um, a trainer, a public speaker, and an author. Welcome well, to the show. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so the question, so the question. Yeah, question. Do you want a recap on that? Yeah, let's quickly read the question again. Yeah. Re-read the question again. How should I test to be able to cover the most? So how should testing be done? How should I test? So mm -hmm. that's a how-to question. Um, and with the idea of coverage. So um, I think there are like two kinds of things that we need to clarify here. And one of them is the concept of coverage. What does the coverage mean? Mm -hmm. And the other one is? Um, and then the other one is the, the how-to. Because like to me, testing is like it's a collection of different kinds of activities you know, and approaches. So mm -hmm. um, so I, I think the how-to is think, a collection of yeah, ideas yeah. instead of like step-by-step -step instruction. That's a, that's a good so, yeah. point. There's, to me, there's, there's also, I think, a third one. What okay. does the most mean? Ah, that's, are you that's able, smart. Are you actually able to cover the most? Yeah, yeah. So, so what does, what, what, what is it? Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, that's a valuable take. So there are different kinds of like, in, well, we just deconstruct the question, mm -hmm. yeah. different yeah. points of view. Um, and yeah, that actually the most is really interesting. Like, what does it mean? So that was like yeah, a but I, Actually, my short answer to that would be just ignore trying to cover, trying the, to most. cover the most. Yeah, um, yeah, because like... I want and most important things, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's true. But, but covering the most, you know, it, it's always good to remember that you can yeah. never test everything. That's, that's if, so if there's true. a tester that who says that now I've now tested everything or I have I found all <laughs> of the box, you know yeah. it, it's an instant red yeah, flag. Remember that. Yeah, um, that's just simply not possible. Yeah, and, and then then you know what what does covering the most really actually yeah. mean? Then it was like like I remember this like fun exercise that we did. Um, it was about like when Twitter uh, was uh, well, it wasn't really new, but it was like. The place to be back mm -hmm. then um uh, so so we had this like we, i was in a conference and we had this like workshop where we were supposed to like test twitter you know yeah. and and we were supposed to like like start designing test cases you know <laughs> so that was like like the olden days again um but but the the first like really curious thing about that was like how many test cases would you need to test twitter mm -hmm. and you know our instructor then then uh, he, he explained that yeah you could actually do it with one so it's like test Twitter, expected result is that Twitter works. So yeah, True. you could actually yeah. use one and then yeah. you would have covered 100%. So, <laughs> so based on the test cases, like the number of cases, you know. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, and then he said that you, you can always like uh, like tune the uh, like the resolution, you know, mm -hmm. how detailed the picture you have there. You can always like double it. So make a double double the test cases. Make two test cases then. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you can test the Twitter front end and you know the back end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they work. Yeah. So that's two test cases out of the one. And then you know just like go into more details. Make double you know four mm -hmm. test cases out of it yeah. so you are spreading like dividing the front end to different kinds of areas you know mobile devices and the browser you know devices mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that yeah and then just double then you just double again and again and then he was asking that how many doublings do you need to like reliably cover all of twitter mm -hmm. do you need like do you need like eight doublings or do you need like 60 doublings or what's the number mm -hmm. 
and and everybody was supposed to like write it on post-it note uh, and they were like uh, we ended up with the numbers of like yeah a hundred test cases would do it into a number that a million test cases would do it so that was to spread out of a room full of testers mm-hmm. and and that was like to me that really demonstrated what coverage is about and what covering in the most also is mm-hmm. yeah so that was like, like our first impression so what if you just go doubling 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 and see what happens what where what's enough and that way you could like map out it in terms of some test scenarios you know test cases that you may have like the coverage and even in that situation you would not have covered the things that were outside of the cases right so yeah. there is no way to get the hundred per like ever get to the hundred percent so it's always about what's enough it's always about the decision of what's enough for this situation mm-hmm. yeah so what's R- enough for you you know mm. um basically risk management yeah yeah that's true yeah just there's this one one um metaphor that i really like uh when talking about sort of w- how to find out what what should i be testing mm-hmm. Uh, where, where, where to sort of dig or where, where to find those bugs? Where, where should I be testing? And there, so in, in mining in the industry, mm-hmm. whenever there's a new mine is being set up, some somewhere, those mining companies never go just to on site and start mining right away. Mm-hmm. They go go into a certain area and take samples from different oh. uh, locations. Yeah. So and get, then get based on those, yeah, yeah. Ba- based on those samples, they then decide way to dig actually yeah that's true and that's something that you should be to doing in testing as well yeah because so that's like, a, uh, that's one rule nobody really knows why why this happens but mm-hmm. it's actually it's true that that w- wherever you find uh, a bug or two <laughs> there's probably more yeah. more there they're boozing around yeah, there yeah with yeah they, they like to like they're to like be in groups yeah, yeah 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 so that's actually one good step mm-hmm know to to start figuring out mm-hmm. where where should I test and exactly. which areas should I actually be covering more thoroughly than the others mm-hmm. there's also other ways to to do that but that's at least one one place to start yeah yeah so like co- covering where it seems like there is most value in testing exactly yeah, yeah. So just like getting an overview and then making educated decisions based on the overview mm-hmm. where are the critical areas for us to work on next so it's about like True. It's about like understand deconstructing, you know, what you're testing, mm-hmm. and then understanding what are the most imo- valuable areas, and then making a priority out of them. So, um, so that's that's how it will go. Um, but then the question of coverage, how does that uh, answer the question of coverage, is is like a really interesting because like a lot of people like ask me in workshops like, but but how then can we estimate coverage in that kind of situation? So it always goes down down with the question of like mm-hmm. estimating the coverage, and and you know. That ends. The discussion usually ends up in a situation where you estimate coverage in terms of test ideas, in terms of like amount of risks, number of something, you mm-hmm. know. And and in this kind of situation where you take samples and you make decisions and you go deep, um, the 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 I would say the best way to reframe the uh, coverage discussion is to re- uh, reframe it in terms of time spent and time spent on the areas X, Y, and Z. You know, Mm -hmm. on the categories or whatever it is, time spent on the areas, you know, for example, in terms of time boxes, Pomodoros, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So we have spent two days in the area of our like main functionalities in the login and the pay trail, you know, and and then we have uh, spent like X amount of days uh, testing this area and stuff like that. So Mm -hmm. that would like give an insight into like how our attention has been distributed across what it seems like is the whole of the software. Mm-hmm. So, so reframing the coverage discussion in, in as a discussion of time management, I would say that's a right. that's a yeah. valuable yeah. way to approach yeah. it. And there's obviously, the, I think the mining thing sort of relates to that yeah. in terms of of that is one way to figure out where do you want to spend that time. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and you can actually get an idea of what the different areas are, and mm-hmm. also some idea on wh- which areas should get the most attention yeah and and that brings me to like the idea that that also deciding how much time should be invested into sampling mm-hmm. you know overview mm-hmm. yeah and how much yeah. time should be invested into deeper dives into mm-hmm. the areas where you like presume there is like catch you know mm-hmm. the 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 or you know gold or whatever silver you're mining for then there's also obviously you can do some just discussion work yeah on on 
so, but I, I guess this relates to risk management as, as well. What are the most important features? Mm. What what do we sort of think are the most important ones? You know, the ones that we wouldn't really mm -hmm. uh, manage without. And also the risk side of it. What what if something goes wrong? What is something that worries us? Uh, beforehand, or what mm -hmm. are the most critical things? What could actually, what would be the worst case scenario? That also gives you an idea on on where to spend that time. Mm -hmm. That's true. And how to cover yeah. different areas. Yeah, and then then the I would say we are doing this uh, like deconstruction. Like what what does the most mean? What does the coverage mean here? Then it's the how to of testing. Um, so I I would say that like going from like the end in mind mm -hmm. going into the practical means of testing so um so yeah i would like first investigate what are our how to's what are the ways of testing that we already know of mm -hmm. <laughs> so 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 can you like elaborate for example on with the pen and paper that that these are the ways of testing that we could do uh, this is like our our like toolkit of different approaches mm -hmm. so what should we choose as our how to in this kind of mission what should we choose as our how-to for like sampling? What should we choose our how-to into deep dives into different mm -hmm. areas? Mm -hmm. And then that will give you the answers. So, so creating like first the clarity of like this like landscape you're in and, and the outcomes you're aiming for and then deciding on what's the practical step. What are the ways of doing it? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't have an answer for that because like every organization, every tester has like their own toolkits of how-tos. So it has to be decided based on what you already know, uh, what you could know next, and what you're aiming for, like as an outcome. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Um, and there's like, what what can you actually? What what are your skills? Yeah, our that's true. available resources in. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's... yeah, and, and acquiring the skills that are missing. So mm -hmm. you know, acquiring mm -hmm. the skills of like specific kind of API automation or whatever it is you gotta acquire the skill either for yourself or you can hire for the skill. Mm -hmm. So it has to be like acquired if there is a mission to be accomplished so that's yeah, yeah. always that's part of the leadership i would say in testing because like you have to already understand what are the next level skills that you and your organization will need mm. so. and in that case you sort of also need to understand the the entirety of testing the different yeah, areas true. and aspects to it and different yeah. viewpoints what what <laughs> might be needed so, exactly. so that you don't yeah. actually miss miss yeah. anything so yeah yeah that that's true um so um, does, is there anything else that comes to your mind on this question? Um, um, I think we have covered it pretty well. Yeah. 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 Let's do that. Yeah. A quick wrap, wrap up of the question. Mm -hmm. question. Um, the deconstruction, there is the how to, there is what coverage, coverage means, mm -hmm. and then there is the concept of, of you know, aiming for 100%. Mm -hmm. So um, those are like the different ways to look at this question. Yeah. And also think about the solution. So defining what the how-to means, defining what coverage means, and defining what like what is the 100%, what it means when you're satisfied with, with the testing. So, so I would say that's the first step. Define what different things mean for you. That's well put. <laughs> don't really have anything to add to that yeah that's true yeah i was like we're going to like make an awesome wrap up of like 15 takeaways out of this episode but but yeah i think that's a wrap yeah yeah that sounds like it yeah so if you enjoyed the episode please don't have please don't hammer the like button please don't hesitate to hammer the like button um share the video with someone who may benefit from it and send your questions and comments into the comment field of this video and that way we can like a pro uh, we can expand the mission of mental health in software industry because everybody's happier when software works thank you for joining us and see you in the next episode thank you bye I'm scared, Dad. You trust me, son? Yes. Come on, son. Rule number one, never oh. trust anybody.